Hello and welcome, I'm Raziel, and anyway, so today we are going to talk about combat patrol boxes and whether or not they're getting worse. But first let's talk about the Tau leaked one, which we've seen here. It is an interesting box, and I don't think it's anywhere near as good as the previous box, and nowhere near as good as the box previous to that. Uh, this decline in quality of, oh, diversity in the boxes, it seems to be a theme or pattern going along within Games Workshop right now. I will talk about this box first because, well, I'm not a fan of it. It is, like I said, it's not a very diverse box. It is actually a very good bargain for Games Workshop. It is a huge saving for you guys. And But let's just talk about that bit first. So in the box you get 20 Fire Warriors, a Commando and a Devilfish. And so if we look at that here, here we go. You've got your Fire Warriors Breacher Team, two of those, so that's £70. Devilfish, which is £35, and your Tau Commander, which is £37.50. All together is £42.50, saving you £47.50. So that's kind of a, as a third of what you would be paying. Again, not really complaining. The decent saving. Now, again, I don't have issues with What I have issues with when it comes to... Games Workshop and the combat, combat Patrols is that they seem to be getting worse and worse. Now, I'm going to just bring this up for later because that's what I need to talk about. And here's the Tau one you can presently get, of course, which is going to go away soon when this one drops, if it drops. Again, it is a leak, so take it with a pinch of salt, but this is what I'm talking about. See, in the leaked version, I'll bring that back up quickly so we can talk about. Also, I don't watch All Spectacus. I got this from Reddit, so... I like I do keep my finger on the pulse and sometimes I like to see stuff and talk about things. But anyway, as you can see here, you have four different units. Four, just four, sorry, three different units. Though I believe you can make the Breacher team into two different units. So I'll say four for that. Unless they change that, which would be ridiculous to change that. So yeah, so three, but if you're going to play Combat Patrol, you've only got three different units. And 20 of them are the same model. Well same unit which to me is a poor poor thing to do because with a combat patrol box especially something like combat patrol you want a good variety in your models here because if you don't it can be a boring box to build and paint and though it does score some points because you have a decent centerpiece model with the commander you also have a vehicle with a devil fish it's also kind of a flyer which always gets props from me anyway but it is to me a poor box for a combat patrol box because if you're going into Tau with this army, you're, and this is the first box you're using, you're not getting a real feeling how to stretch your legs within the Tau army. It's like, you've got Breaches, a Commander, and a Devilfish, what more do you want? And secondly, the Devilfish isn't really a heavy support choice. The Commander can be well equipped, but given that the Devilfish is a uh, tr troop transport, it does mean that you are lim you are basically making a fast Tau army for an army which isn't used to getting up close. Basically, the Delphi should be used to get your troops away from stuff. Yeah, you can get onto an objective quicker. You can do all that. But you're also making your Tau, who are not very good in melee, closer to armies who, almost every other army, being far superior in that fact. So, that is the new Tau one, and that's kind of one of my issues. So, if we actually go to the Tau box you can buy presently, you have your Ghost Kill, you have your Ethereal, you have your Fireblade Cardra, and you you have ten fire warriors and your three stealth suits. This is to me as a far superior box. I know a lot of people have said they don't like it, but to me as a starting army, this is a good box. You have one, two, three, four, five different units here, so you have a good way of stretching out. You have two HQs, so if you don't want to go down the ethereal route, you want to go down the uh, far side route. You can remove your far side and you still have a HQ choice there. You have a big centerpiece model with your ghost kill, which again is also a very good heavy support. You have an elite choice with your stealth suits, your troops, and your HQ. So if it had a fast attack in there, like a piranha or something, if that would be so much better. But you have got most of your slots filled up here, and you are you know, you've got a good way to stretch or really get to grips with how a tower army works. And this isn't just the first box that I've seen this with, especially secondary boxes. Now, if, like, here is the combat patrol boxes. So first, let's talk about the Dark Angel box. Now, the previous Dark Angel box had three, had five Howl Blasters, 
uh, three eradicators, I believe they're called, you know, the guys with jump packs and heavy bolt pistols, a chaplain, and the dreadnought, the attempt to dreadnought. So there you go, you have, no, it's five intercessors, I should say, not hell blasters. That's why I've seen hell blasters there. And so, you have a decent choice there. You have a fast unit, you have a heavy stroke elite unit, which can be close combat or heavy support, and you have a HQ choice. Again, many of your slots are filled up here, and you have zero issues with that. Here you have Hellblasters, Intercessors, Blade Guard, and your Captain. So you have a troop choice, two elites, and a Captain. Yes, you have a decent objective holder there, and you have your Intercessors, but it is still very much a very single army, and you're just shooting. You have no way to really stretch your legs on anything heavy, or anything fast, or anything strong. You have to rely on basically having the lower saving rolls to almost any other combat patrol boxes, and this is something you can see with the newer ones. Now, kind of weird to this, because one of the last combat patrol boxes to come out in 9th edition was, of course, the Astro Militarum one. Now, the Astro Militarum one here is one of my favourite ones, not just because it's a very varied box here, because you have your, you know, you have your ba Ordnance Battery, you have your Sentinel, your Ordnance Battery is your heavy support, you have your Sentinel, which is your fast attack, you have 20 troops choices, so there you, there's your basic troops sorted. You have a command squad, so there's a veteran squad there, and you're an elite choice there, and of course a HQ. But, uh, so command squads are always pretty good anyway, they were pretty good in 8th edition, where they had the better uh, ballistic skill. So I was playing Katachan back then, and when I used, and I was using... Command, I had a command squad full up of sniper rifles and they were lethal as hell within that force. They were just nasty. I didn't have to put my commander up front anywhere and he never got threatened because the snipers just went balls of all crazy on everyone. It was fantastic. So, like I said, this is a good one because you have your heavy support, fast attack, troops, elite and HQ. Every single slot is filled up. And for new players, when I say every single sl slot is filled up because I still, when I build an army, I use the older uh, chart or, uh, force organization charts where they'd have a HQ choice, troop choice, um, it was usually a mandatory troop choice of two, uh, elite choice and hate fast attack and heavy support. And that's how I still build my armies now because to me that's how you, that's how I would build an army, that's how I think you should build an army. So you have a variety of things you can play and you can have a real good feeling for how your army plays out. With this you could see how well heavy support works for your army. So if you're thinking, okay, the heavy support works well, uh, these are doing a lot of damage, maybe get a tank to you know boost that heavy support choice. Uh, it'd be you could get in good flanking maneuvers with a sentinel, you know, or you know, you really feel like a fast army more suits you because you're getting more use out of your sentinel. You can therefore build your army more fitting to you, rather than having it sort of told how you should play that independent force, which is what I feel a lot of these combat patrol boxes do now. And again, this is, like I said, this is something that comes up quite frequently, and it's not something I'm really a fan of, because, say, like this one here, the Death God one, the Death God one is probably one of my least favourite combat patrol boxes. A couple of reasons, I do like the Death God, but I don't like poxwalkers. I if I do a space marine army, I will only do a space marine army. I won't go ahead and add anything like zangors, poxwalkers, jackals, cultists. I won't do that for a chaos army. I will do solely astartes. That's just my take, and that's the way I do it. But see the amount of poxwalkers can is just so obscene. And then you've got very few, you know, actual astartes there. You have typhus again, but typhus was it's kind of an extra issue here because you can't have two typhuses. So buying this box twice would have been an issue and if you bought this box twice you still have that many pox walkers to build and if you're getting into the game or getting into the hobby having a lot of models to build and paint even if they're snap fit like these ones can be a bit of a deterrent and here we go some more new boxes here you have the space moon one and the two in one now I'm going to talk about the space moon one first because I have very few issues with the tyranid one because again this to me is a good combat patrol box but that space mean one to me is absolutely horrendous this is probably the worst objectively speaking combat patrol box i know people are going to say oh wow it's a good box it plays well look honestly if someone if i was building this army that would bore me to tears it really would you have infernus uh terminators you have infernus primaris and terminators you have your librarian and your captain i mean the captain's a good looking model don't get me wrong and they 
you know, the Terminators look like Terminators. But to me, that's just such a poor box. And again, you're shoehorned into very much what you need, how you need to play Combat Patrol, box, Combat Patrol. And the second issue, and it's the same issue with Tyranids, Tyranids, whatever you want to call it, is that you can get that cheaper by buying the starter set. Like the original starter set, one of the, the middle starter set, I'll bring it up here is actually cheaper to buy because if we go to one forty thousand, start here this box here this middle one this starter set 65 pound temporarily out of stock i'm not surprised it's 65 pound for pretty much both combat patrol boxes but you need to get the two uh barbcorns and the librarian on top but that still ends up saving you money on a single compa combat patrol box so that is a far better deal, and the fact is, combat patrol boxes are meant to be there to save you money too, and to get into it for a hobby. And if you can get something cheaper than the combat patrol box, why would you get the combat patrol box? But once again, if we look at the Tyranids, this is another good combat patrol box. You have your Gaunts, you have your Barb Gaunts, you have your uh, Venophage, you have your Alpha Warrior, and you have your Mini Lictors. Uh, I don't like that name, Mini Lictors. Like winds leapers or some silly words, silly words. Lictors, mini lictors, right? So you have a fast attack, you have a heavy support, you have troop choices, an elite choice, and your HQ. Everything, every base is covered within that box, which absolutely, again, is fantastic. Leagues of Votan, again, you see this again. You have HQ, heavy support, elites, uh, troops, and fast attack. I know they're not technically leads and they might not be, but you can see in the way they are played, but that's exactly how they would be. That's how I would classify them personally. And here's the other thing, that tail box can be, def I, we're just looking at it, because of the way it's made, and it is a, you know, it's almost like a dedicated fast tau army, it kind of defeats the purpose of tau. Because if you're going to put your tau quickly up ahead, and then someone goes ahead and plays something like, let's choose a decent box first, which isn't very, okay, this box here, the outer one. That outer box if one, would probably rinse that Tau army turn one. That would be a tabling of that Tau com combat patrol box turn one. The commander would probably, wouldn't struggle, uh, the Wraith Lord wouldn't struggle against the Tau commander. The ethereal would, no, sorry, the Farseer there, which I got my curse one, and his singing spear would cause so much damage to that commander. So the commander's got two units straight away, which is going to cause it nasty damage. And though, yes, the tower very shooty, you've suddenly got six jet boats there, which are very good at anti-infantry, especially if you put scatter lasers or shuriken cannons on them. That is going to, that will not have problems with that tower box. Same with the custodies ones next door. The bikes have, are very shooty, and of course the riders are very good at melee, being custodies, and they're very strong as well. So, and of course you've got the custodians themselves, the shield captain, and the victorless praetor. These things are just going to cause so much hassle for the tail box. And these are, like I said, these are older boxes. And my worry is, this is my worry, because you know what I've seen now with the Dark Angel box, the tail box, the Space Marine box? See, the last Space Marine box wasn't great. I mean, it was fun, it was good, but it wasn't great. And let alone the other choices you have for Space Marines as well. You would get the Phobos stuff plus the tank and to me that's such a better box it was all single push because it came from the Shadow Spear box it was the good guy side the Space Marine side not the Chaos side and it was to me just a good it was a decent box for a starter it was it was a start collecting plus the tank plus the Rhino uh, no I know is it you know the tank I don't like using these new uh, Space Marine ones I like the old Rhino so they look, just look better to me but yeah so it was a better box, and now when it's now been degraded to less, so like less than half models, no single uh, centerpiece model, no vehicle, yeah, it's a massive downgrade. Where if we just like I said, if we go back to this one, yes, you have two centerpiece models there. Your commander is a nice centerpiece model. They are good looking models, by the way, and I don't mind play a look of a tower. I've never had an issue with a look of a tower. I do like the look of a commander. Okay, so you have a nice centerpiece model, you also have a vehicle, so you know, you've got two boxes ticked there, but having no variety within the normal infantry units, and having them all stuck to just Tau, or Firewall as breaches, you are basically being hammered at home on what, how you have to play your Tau. 
and again, it'll give you a look at the Chaos one, you have one, two, three, four different units, you have Heavy Support, Elite, and of course your HQ. Again, Fast Attack would be pretty good, but there is no really new Fast Attack units for Chaos Space Marines at the moment. You've still got your Raptors, your Warp Talons, and your Bikes, you haven't got anything really new for them, and so we'll probably see something soon anyway. And this is, then, like I said, this is something you can see in almost every force is with the new boxes, the newer boxes. Again, look at the with world bear, world bear, word bearer, world eaters. You have your HQ, a nice centerpiece model. Don't get me wrong, it's a nice looking model. You have your wordy uh, berserkers and you have your jackals. It's a good box. It's not a bad box, but again, it is limiting yourself on what you can actually use in the box in your game because you are very much de de dictated to how to do it. I just want to make sure that they are just world eaters and not anything else. Yeah, 20 berserkers. I just wanted to double check that one. So, this is, like I said, this is a problem I'm seeing with combat patrol boxes at the moment. Having them so limited to basically troop tro uh, just lots of the same infantry or the same style of infantry, except basically with Space Moon again. Look at that! If you, when, I think they try to do better with the Dark Angels because you get more models, but you are still very much limited to that style of fighting for Combat Patrol. I know you, and so again, this is just issues that I'm coming up with. But I'm, but this is just not issues I'm coming up with, like out my head and something to complain about. Because Games Workshop's Combat Patrol rules and stuff like that is a great idea. I have no issues with it. I think it's fantastic. And the fact you save so much money with this towel box, again, is a good thing. It's fantastic that that can happen. Combat Patrol is a good idea. It's not G and a GW idea. It's not a Games Workshop idea. Every other company does this. And Mantic have just improved even further with their ambush rules. And basically, you don't need you download the rules, you buy your army for the box, and there yeah, you're good to go. You know, minus plus the dice, but every game you need to buy the dice anyway. But again, it's not a bad thing, and I like that idea. I think it's a good idea. Now, the problem with it is that you can look at these boxes, and it, like I said, it, these boxes are great for starting armies. But to, if you're going to play combat patrol box, I'd rather use a box like this. Not just because I'm an outdoor player, just because of its variety. You have four different units. You count your troop choice with your guardians, your fast attack with the six jet bikes, your farseer, and your wraith lord. But the wraith lord there is the one of the most versatile models you can get for outdoor. I love the wraith lord. I have two in my current outdoor army. I also have like 14 different jet bikes. And the reason is because they're a great mobile heavy weapon transport as well as a good close combat fighter. So when, if you want to use it to stay back and just fire at the enemy, you can do that. Or you can march it forward firing its weapons and then being a monster in close combat. And of course you can flank with the two set two squads of jet bikes and you have the guardians, uh, the guardians to take objectives. Guardians are pretty weak but they have that heavy support again so you have even more help with that. Or you can make it an invulnerable save if you use Storm Guardians. And again, if you look at the... Let's have a look at another one here. Uh, the, this one. This Combat Patrol for Grey Knights is a brilliant box. I do like this box. I know a lot of people aren't fans of it. But the fact is, this box is so versatile. And you know you can do so much with it. You have... I think... Let's think. You've got the first attack you can make. You can make a... Elite choice and the normal troop choices with Green Knights, so that's three units. You can make three different units with the Terminators, and you can make two different units with the Dread Knight. So you can make a combat, with this combat patrol box, you can make the Interceptors, the Purge squad, and the normal squad, so that three different squads straight away, and one of them is a very good fast attack squad. You have two choices for heavy support, one that's not even included with different varieties of weapons the sword or the hammer and with the terminators you can do paladins uh, command squad and normal ter terminators and you have spare librarians to move around with but the only issue is that you're not really saving much money on this box that's like the biggest problem with it and again now <clears throat> when I see the Grey Knight is a good box this box here, this Adeptus Cerritos box, to me, is the 
how a combat patrol box should be and how these new battle sets should be. Like we've had the Crew one lately, okay? I made the same complaints there, it's not very diverse. We had the Leagues of Votan one, I said the same there, not very diverse. This is how a battle box and a combat patrol box should be. This is, exa this is like the perfect way of doing it, because you get to stretch your legs on every aspect of your army here. You have your Sisters of Battle, your normal Sisters of Battle. You have your Arcoflagellants. You have your Seraphim. You have your, I keep forgetting the name, Walker and a Rhino. And what makes this so good is because you, you also have the Cannoness as well. You have not just how to play with Sisters of Battle and a power armor with two different units. Now oh, three, sorry, the Cannoness. You also have your Arcoflagellants for a different style of play. Sorry. I've also forgot, you also got your um, sisters who are always naked as well. So you have two different styles of play here. Like you have the unarmored, so you have to work out whether or not they can take on a unit, because you won't have the same save as the sisters of battle. And you have your seraphim for fast attack, you have your rhino for protection of your sisters of battle. You have your walker, which is absolutely devastating. It's not. You don't have any big heavy heavy weapons, you have a heavy bolter in it, because these are all single... Uh, monopose single fit you know simple models but you do have this choice and I do like it and to me this is how a model combat patrol box should be but when you compare it to the new tail box see like I said so much different choices here when you compare it to the tail box you can see you if you start using vest bids crude or anything else you've suddenly got a brand new thing to learn on top of your new box. So you got towel here, you got their armor save, and now you have to add the this is just armor saves. This is, I'm just keeping it simple. Uh, you just then you got to add the new crude armor saves. So you while you've been practicing with this box, you've suddenly added a new set of rules and new you know new issues into your army and you have to relearn learn that on top. A combat patrol box should really be this is how your army plays, this is how it should be done and how Every so you know every type of save leadership ballistic seal works, and again this is just so silly that they're not doing it and they're trying to, and it does seem that they're going less and less. And this is a good box because you have a troop choice, a heavy support. Uh, you have these guys. You have your elites. This just makes them fast. You have your troops and you have your HQ. You have a nice variety of choice in here, and you have two vehicles. So you have. This would just be a solo to me. I wouldn't go for, like, people go, oh, what about the meta? Right, if I was a brand new into this game, I would go for looks and how something attached to me. If someone said, all right, you can get a combat patrol box, I'm giving you 95 quid, you, I'm going to get you 90, you can get any combat patrol box. Now, someone often says, here, here's the Drakari one, this is the Dark Elder one. When you look at it, you go, oh, that looks cool. I get, you know, I get my normal guys, I've got a nice, cool looking leader, I have two tanks, and I have these big, cool dudes with swords. And then someone goes, oh, what about Tau? And you go like, yeah, okay, but why? Why would I choose that over a Jukari one? This is like, why? Why would I do that? I have 20 of the same model here. But, no. They're five warriors and preachers, so four different units, sorry. They kind of look like four different units. I'm not quite sure, because they look like breaches too. They've, like, mixed them up. Silly Tau. But anyway... It does seem to me like they are definitely losing how to do a combat patrol box compared to how we should do one. And I don't think it's a good thing when you... If we look at this top line anyway, like again, this is something you can see. You look at the Dark Angel one. Like I said, you've got 95 pounds. You're going to start a new army. Look at this top line. It's the first line you see when you look at combat patrol boxes. You go, oh, well, I got those. And, well, they look very cool. They, there's lots of variety in the Astro Meditarum one here. Lots of really cool looking ones. You know, I got lots of choice. I can really sort of stretch my legs and really learn the army. Oh, I got these. I got two fast attack though. You know, and I got this guy. And you know, I got a good way of getting into the army. I can have a good stretch. I can kind of have a good feel for the army. Oh, I got space marines. I got all the same space marines. And yeah, space marines are space marines. Don't get me wrong. But having a dreadnought in there or something else would definitely have made this box so much better because you'd be like, yeah, and now I can really, you know, feel how something else works with, you know, a big heavy weapon works within space marines. And that would be the way I'd do it. But just to me, right? This is just some idiot on on YouTube with with an opinion, and nothing else. And 
I hope to see you again soon, and I'll catch you in the next one. Link to Alien Games down below, as always. 20% off your... Up to 20% off Warhammer and, you know, other games as well, and free delivery after £20. There is also... What else is there? Uh, Forbidden Planet Comics DVDs. It's a comic shop. It's so cool. Well worth checking out. <clears throat> and finally, there is my merchandise. You know, cups, t-shirts, comics. My own comics that I drew myself, and everything else. And I'll catch you in the next one.